So hello everybody and welcome to Not That Kind of a Channel. My name is Peter and today is all about the Gap ID tool and five things why I love the Gap ID tool and three why I don't. So um, the first step we need to do is uh, we need to uh, plug our car to our charger uh, because I won't start up the car. So yeah, it's more practical uh, if you uh, get your car connected to a charger so you have time and you don't have to think about uh, oh my battery is getting low and stuff like that um, the next step is i will open the hood and i will plug the car in so let's go um, let's get the charger um, the charger is from SeatTech. i think it's a swedish product um, i really love the charger because um, with the, this one, um, you can also recount your battery, uh, which means that you can restore your battery and um, get more power out of it. Yeah, that's a really cool thing. I will link the, the charger in the description below. Um, so this one is the charger. Um, it has also an AGM mode. Um, which you'll need uh, when you have an, uh, a start-stop automatic in your car, but this one doesn't have one, so we're opening the hood. And in my case, I have installed um, this plug here, so I don't have to open the cover all the time when I want to plug my car in. Uh, yeah, it's really practical, it costs a few euros, so I would recommend if you install this on your car. So, the next step we have to do is um, we have to get our charger and what's really important is um, that you always, when you connect your charger uh, to your car, you plug in the charger or this charger first and then plug the, the power cable in. So, do this. And here, uh, on this, especially on this charger, you have some settings. You can uh, ch uh, charge your motorcycle or your car. And this means um, because there is an AGM battery installed, even if the car hasn't a start-stop automatic, there is the battery installed. And now I will do the recount. This means it will restore your battery. So now the car is plugged in um, and let's change into the car. And I will show you uh, why I love the AID tool and yeah, and I will give you a small walkthrough through the AID tool. So let's go. So welcome back in the car. Um, the first thing where I really love the AID tool is uh, you save a lot of money. And by a lot of money, I mean really a lot of money because um, when you when you have to buy a new key, like it was in my case, um, we bought the car with only one key. Uh, the key with the programming will cost you 450 euros at the Land Rover dealer. <laughs> and I think that's uh, really, really much. And um, the second thing is, um, if you if you want to calibrate your air suspension or something like that, um, you have to pay also 200 euro for just 10 minutes or so. Uh, I will link you the video uh, above there um, so you can see how easily it is to calibrate um, the air suspension and the next thing is um, to delete one error you pay 70 to 100 euros at Land Rover <laughs> yeah and that's I mean okay <laughs> for for 10 minutes or something like that that's 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 really much uh, and so I, I think yeah and uh, the the ID tool is not not that cheap, I know, it's cost you about 470 euros, so yeah. But if you calculate um, those things together, which I, I uh, tell you before, then you see, um, yeah, you will, you, you will get the money really back quickly and yeah. Uh, the second thing why I love the ID tool is um, that it's really handy and, and you don't need to carry a laptop with you um, so that you can do all your diagnostic stuff or deleting forts or something like that. You all, you have only this, well, just give me a second, I got it in my glove box. Um, you only have this small ID tool here. So if you never have seen this, this is this. Um, 
uh, which you connect to your OBD2 board. And yeah, you only need the app and your smartphone and that's it. So um, the third thing up to, uh, why I really love the IT tool is um, that the support of the Gap ID tool or the support uh, is, is really is, is really fast and yeah it's 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 outstanding I think um, because I had uh, the problem to uh, add another key on our car and um, I wrote them hey guys I got a problem and yeah they told me uh, they told me um, yeah please uh, give us the ECU information from the car I sent them and one hour later I get back an update for the ID tool. Uh, especially for my car and then I was able to add a new key and yeah that's really cool I don't think you'll find this often in these times so yeah I can really really recommend this support the fourth reason uh, why I love the ID tool is um, you can um, you, you you not only can uh, read faults or delete faults or stuff like that or diagnostic your car um, you can also um, <clears throat> program your car so which means um, if your car comes without a rear view camera or stuff like that you can add a new camera so you ha only have to activate this in the ID tool for your car uh, you don't have to program this so um, yeah and uh, as I saw on on, on YouTube, um, there were some guys who had the pedal shifts uh, because the car didn't have pedal shifts and they want uh, and they would really like to have one. So they added the pedal shifts and installed them, and then they only activated in the uh, they only activated the the pedal shifts in the ID tool. Yeah, and it was working. So that's really cool. The fifth reason why I also love the ID tool is. Um, you can plug the ID tool to a lot of cars from 2004 until now. Uh, but I have to say, um, the new cars, like I think from, from 2017 uh, onwards, they are not fully supported. But um, as I read uh, in the Gap News, they're always uh, adding some new stuff. And, and with updates, um, you're getting even more support. So yeah, that's, that's another cool thing. Um, and now I will come to the three things I, I didn't like that much um, because, yeah, uh, I think uh, some things could be, they, they, they could do some things better. And so um, the first thing was uh, when I heard the price. So 470 euros, pool, uh, that's, that's a lot. Um, before I had the iCarsoft tool um, and this one costs me 120 euros. But I have to say the the only thing you can you could do with this is um, you can do with this is um, deleting errors or, or adding a new battery if you have to change this. The next thing is um, you you pay 470 euros for this tool and then if you if you have another car um, you have to pay another license uh, to get full support. Uh, for this car, I have to say, um, you have to, uh, you you're always able to uh, read faults and delete faults, uh, but but programming stuff is disabled for a second car, so you have to get a new license for 70 euros, and yeah, then you have full support for your second car, and I think that's a bit pricey. And another thing is why I'm not surprised, uh, why I don't like this tool so much is um there are some uh, as i said before you can program stuff and 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 do some updates and everything but um you have to pay uh, you have to pay for ecu updates so not for all i have to say but for the most of them and one update um will cost you 30 euros so i think uh, i don't know i think uh, there there are about um 20 or or 20, 20 ECUs, which which or 26 ECUs, which you get listed in there, and and only a few you can update for free, and for all other you have to pay 30 euros per update. So yeah, that's not so cool, I think. But uh, let's stop talking, and now I will show you. Uh, I will give you a short walkthrough the ID tool. Yeah, so have a look, and let's go. Uh, for all of you who don't know where the ID, the ID tool is connected, it's it's um, down the steering here. Um, I will show you this in, in my other videos, um, like here where I add my new key, or here where I uh, do the calibration on the air suspension. So I will plug the ID tool in. 
So the first thing we have to do is we um, turn on our ignition at the car um, and then we will start um, the Gap ID in control app. So let's get that. Um, then we will search, we already plugged the ID tool in and then we were sh searching for the tool. And yes, so the tool is found. Um, so, and let's uh, start it. Uh, we are starting with readings and faults. So the car will automatically, uh, the car, <laughs> the, the um, ID tool will uh, automatically uh, read all your faults and show it to you. So, um, okay, I have two faults here and this is the on the driver's side and on the passenger side. And these are my LED blinkers. So um, they don't have the right resistance. And so they, uh, the car say, oh, there is a short circuit. Um, yeah, please uh, check these. Um, but I can, I can um, tell you, uh, both of them are uh, doing the job well. So um, I think it's, it's not a problem. Maybe I, I will add a resistance so uh, I don't get this uh, error in the IID tool. Um, yeah, the next thing is uh, we can clear all faults, but um, at the moment, I think uh, when we clear these faults, um, the, the fault is gone. But next time I turn on a blinker, um, the fault will be back. So uh, yeah. But uh, this is how easy you can read and clear for it. So, okay, it's it's scanning the modules again um, because yeah, now I don't have any error. Okay, um, let's go back to the menu. So we have there another option, which is hate adjust. Um, the hate adjust is um, you can do, uh, with the IID tool, you can permanently uh, set your your writing height. So yeah, that's a, that's a really cool thing, especially uh, when you go on ferries. So you can lower down your car uh, to the I think to from the from the entry height uh, lower it down to two and a half or three centimeters. So uh, <laughs> you have to take care of your wheels and your wheel housing. So yeah, um, and also you can you can lift your car. So yeah. Uh, let's go back uh, to another one, and this is the hate control. The hate control is 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 um, is like your 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 control your hate control buttons um, on your on your car. So yeah, uh, at the moment I think it's it's trying to get in the in the middle position. Oh, okay, uh, yeah, that's what this is, then you have the calibration. And this is one what I really love because as I told you before, um, there is this point RLM suspension and this one, uh, this one is for calibrating your air suspension. Uh, I will open up the, the point. Oh, I'm sorry, that was the wrong one, um, the RLM suspension. So there you have two options. Uh, you have the manual calibration or the guided calibration. Um, the manual calibration, um, you have to know a a few things more and you have to calculate this on your own but in the guide in the guided calibration uh, <laughs> the, the, the app leads you through the calibration around all four corners and it's really great um, I will show you this in my video up here so you can follow them easily it's really cool um, so and other stuff you can do within the menu is you can you can um, adjust your ABS brake you can calibrate your headlamps and stuff like that uh, it's, it's it's really cool so um, the next thing is the service test. Um, the service test, um, there you can do a lot of things. You can, you can test your, your uh, auxiliary heater, you can test your ABS brake module, your instrument pack, the engine, and then and, and, and. There, there, there is a lot of thing you can, you can do with, um, but I highly recommend um, only do this when you know what you're doing. So <laughs> it's like, okay. Um, the life values, the life values uh, will show you uh, what is actually going on at your car. So um, we open up what, let's go. We take, what? Well, uh, let's have a look. Maybe we see, okay, at the moment we, we don't see anything uh, because uh, for life values uh, you have to, you have to <clears throat> start up your engine, but let's have a look. Uh, maybe I'll find something we can see now. It will show you all the ECUs. <clears throat> so maybe we'll see current height. Ah, oh, okay. We have one uh, life value. I think we can show you. So you have to, um, you have to click them and then see the compressor temp model. Okay, no, we don't have in the calibration millimeters. So terrain mode we can activate, and then we say trigger. Oh, I'm sorry, not trigger. A uh, view. So and now we see um, the, the the currently pressure. We can see the 
the temperature of the compressor, yeah, we can record it, we can get it in a graph or stuff like that. That's yeah, really cool. So um, the next thing or the next menu point is the control I.O. Uh, I have to say, I don't, uh, I really don't know what, what's going on in here because I never used this. <laughs> um, so I will switch to the next point and this is what I, what I meant before. Um, this one is um, what I said. Uh, this is for the ECU. So this is really uh, uh, all your ECUs were listed in here. So I'll show you this. Let's go to the where we're going to the body control system. So um, and here you see uh, which battery is installed, um, which high beams are fitted, and and, and 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 here you can deactivate or activate stuff. So, uh, but I have to say, be careful and don't uh, and do not. Uh, activate or deactivate things which you don't know which effect it will have to your car. So yeah, be careful and, and only do things you know. So as you can see here is a uh, thing that the uh, info screen you can add, uh, you can enable or disable the info screen on your car. Yeah, there's a camera, as I said before, um, you can say if, if the camera is fitted or not. So you only need to install the camera if you don't have any and then press uh, the camera is fitted and the ECU will be updated. And yeah, from then on you get your rear view camera. Okay, um, so, and what I also have to say, the next thing is the ECU flash. So this is where you can add your key. Yeah, I will abort this. So, um, there you can also change your compressor if you have to change your compressor because it's damaged or something like that. Um, then there are the ECU infos. Now all ECUs will be scanned. So we have to wait a few seconds. So as I said before, um, now we're in the ECU infos and this is the point uh, where, where it's where I said before, you have to pay for your ECU updates. So as you can see here on the screen, uh, some, uh, uh, some updates or is this the EBS mode? Some updates were uh, for free, and for some you have to pay. So maybe I find someone which you can update. Oh. Okay, yes. But um, if you want to to update uh, some of your ECUs, you have to um, to the Gap ID shop and then uh, choose from the shop which ECU you want to update, and they will get you a file which you get on your on your ID tool. And yeah, and then you can update your ECU. So, um, okay. And now we have uh, another point and this is the safe and restore point. This one is really important um, because uh, before you do stuff on your car or programming stuff on your car, please always save your settings. So in a case of a fold, you can restore it and yeah, you're safe and you don't have a real big brick uh, which you can't move anymore or stuff like that. So yeah, I would really, really recommend do this. Um, and the next and the last point is the ID config. Um, this is not, not that important or that interesting because um, you can only uh, you can tell the ID tool or the ID app uh, what, what is displayed. So here you see um, the ignition is on and the 12.5 volts. So yeah, I don't think that's it's, it's pre unlocked tool. Okay. And yeah, find ECUs, so scanning for ECUs. And that's it. So guys, this is it with my small walkthrough, um, the ID tool uh, and what you can do with it. Please let me know in the comments down below what you already did with the ID tool and how it helps you maybe clean forts or, or finding some faults or errors on your car. Uh, it would be really nice if you tell me what you already did and maybe you can tell me some things I, did, I didn't know until now. So yeah, I would, be really, I would really appreciate uh, if you do this. Um, and yeah, if you like the video, please give me a thumb. And if you want to see more from that kind of content, uh, please subscribe to my channel. So guys, have a nice Sunday, drive safe and have fun. Bye.